Ah, that's better. Yay, I'm on. Woo! Um, where are we? Three minutes past. It's all right, we've got 15 minutes. Anyway, hi guys. Um, sorry about that. I had connection problems. I'm hoping this is coming through okay. Uh, hiya, Patsy. Woo! <laughs> and uh, this is good. Wes, thanks for the prompt. <laughs> um, I had, I did have a few um, connection problems, so hopefully we don't have this problem when we're doing this game, I hope. <laughs> so, uh, hi Adam. Sup AG? <laughs> Sorry I'm looking across the other side because the uh, things are there. Ah, oh, hi Mr Harvey. Woo! Hi. You or your lovely wife, I'm not sure which one is playing it, so, you know, you can tell me. Uh, if you want to give us a thumbs up when you come on, you can hear me all right. That'd be good. By all means. <clears throat> if you've been watching the uh, previous one on the uh, after it was done, then and, and that's why you're in this, then welcome. Hi, Tracy. Uh, hi, Will. Oh, all the way over to America as well. That's amazing. <laughs> and Sam and Alfie as well. Hiya. Yeah. Now, this, I've gone on at six because we're just leaving it a little bit just to see, give people enough time to join because I think I joined last time with only six people to begin with and the, the number grew quite high. So, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I've been working on this all day. <laughs> the idea was yesterday and I've been working on this all day. I think I've just skipped lunch. Hi guys, John's back. Charlie, nice to see you. Sorsha, I had to think about how to say your name then. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Oh, hi. Uh, so yeah, it's all good. Mr. Jolly, nice to see you. Do you know what's good about these things, right? Everybody from your whole, across your whole entire life joins in, it's great. Especially at the minute, my word. Hi, Mr. Frankie. <laughs> right, uh, just so you're aware, um, <clears throat> I'll announce um, what's happening in a minute, okay, and uh, then, then we'll begin uh, <clears throat> with my uh, very own panic room. It's a bit like a escape room, but it's just, you've got to stop me panicking, all right? Simple as that. I just swapped arms because my arm hurts. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mr. Johnny? Right. <clears throat> So yeah, that's a lovely gown in the background. Woo, nice. What's that? Oh, it's, yeah, it's up there. No, you weren't supposed to watch the one from yesterday, Will. It's all good, right? This is completely separate from yesterday. It's just got a running theme because I'm here at my aunt's house. It's a fairly big house. It's got several rooms. So I thought, why not? Let's have a laugh. <laughs> Right, awesome. I'm just going to check the uh, timer down here because we have got a timer. I'll show you. Right, oh, we've got the timer just down there. Uh, when we start, of course, I'll start that. And then we have 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes to get me out of, of uh, where I need to be. All right. The reason I said that is because I don't want to give too much away just yet. All right. Lovely. If you've just arrived, don't worry, you haven't missed anything yet. Um, I did say I was going to be starting at another, just another five minutes. You've got another five minutes, just grab yourself a cup of tea or something next to your phone. And uh, maybe a quick loo break, because I had to do that really quick. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's all good. So hopefully we don't lose connection when we're doing this. So if we do, um, maybe somebody could just, who knows, it, uh, who's got my number, can just text me and then it should come through. I've got the iPad down here too, so I can see both. All right, what's on? Okay, so we've got 13 people on, which is lovely. That's a great start from last time. Uh, stick around, try I'm going to make an announcement at the end, all right, as well. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing that, Frankie, right? <laughs> Feel free to send me a message, guys, if you want to. Uh, if everybody could give a thumbs up, 
just to say that you can hear me, it, you can hear the sound and all that, then that would be if you haven't already. And also it just highlights that you're there for me. All right, that'd be good. I want to stop shaking, stop shaking. This is live, I know, but anyway, stop it. Okay, there'd be more people joining in all, all the way through, I guess, all right? Uh, there's clues in this, there's anagrams, there's hidden uh, anagrams, there's hidden clues, crossword stuff, everything in this, all right? So if you're up for a little bit of that, then uh, stick around for the next 30 minutes, all right? It's quite a challenge today. If you were joined yesterday, uh, sorry, yesterday, the day before, Thursday, then you'll know that it, it goes quite quick as well. So how you answer is you just leave a comment and then um, I'll see it. The first one I see obviously gets it right. That's what we go with. And then we carry on on to the next clue. All right. Uh, sometimes I'm going to give you hints and tips all, all the way, especially if you don't get it, because, uh, you know, I don't want to get stuck in here, basically. <laughs> Sam, uh, oh, for Alfie, Alfie wants a quick impression of Del Boy. You know, it makes sense. You know, Rodney, you know, the we here on the Facebook Live, you know, we're going to do a, you know, a uh, panic room. And if you don't get us out of here, we're really going to panic. That might be a bit rushed. Apologies. Right. OK, so let's check the time. It's yeah, we're ready to go. OK, we're going to go now. All right. Why not? OK, so a little bit earlier than expected. I say quarter past. But anyway, <laughs> right then. Awesome. Whew. Welcome, everyone. It's time to begin the panic room. That was really rubbish, wasn't it? But anyway, yes, it is. It's time to um, start the panic room. So basically, my aunt, my absent-minded aunt, uh, she hasn't locked me in on purpose today. No, she hasn't, right? What's happened is uh, I wandered into her bedroom, right? Steady. Uh, into the bathroom, and um, both doors have sealed themselves, so I can't actually get out, all right? Look, this, the door is is right here, behind here, okay? Uh, and behind that is another door, all right? So you've got two rooms to complete in 30 minutes. I know that sounds nuts. <laughs> so without further ado, let's start. Let's go down to the timer. Are you ready? Steady, let's go. Right, okay, uh, one second in, right, okay. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is a, um, well, it's a joke, all right? What's the answer to this joke? I went to a party with my girlfriend on my back. I was a tortoise and my girlfriend was what? What was she? As soon as you know, just message straight away. And hopefully we've got, we've got quite a mixture of people on here. So they should get one of these today. <laughs> so I'll say it again. What's the answer to the joke? I went to a party with my girlfriend on my back. I was a tortoise and my girlfriend was what? What was she? Any ideas? Yes, Frankie, Michelle, well done, right. <laughs> okay, Michelle, we've got, a, we've, got a we've got a shell just over here, actually, right? So I'm gonna lift this up. <sighs> oh, okay, uh, there's a word, a strange word. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think on there, you can actually read what it says because it's, it's supposed to be in, in a strange language, all right? But I think you can read that. Uh, comment if you can, right? And if not, where should I go with it? So if you think you know, then uh, just comment. What is it? Do you have any ideas what that is? <laughs> In fact, if I, I don't know if this is gonna work, right? But uh, I've got the word, oh, flip an egg. Right. You can see the word there. If you can read that word, then uh, tell me what it is, says. All right. It's in mirror language. It's in mirror language. Any ideas? What do we think it is? A shell? No, the word inside. The word inside. What does it say? It's, it's in mirror language, but I don't know because on my screen, it's, it, John, well done, it says hairbrush. Well done, okay, hairbrush, and he broke the shell. <laughs> uh, hairbrush, so I'm just gonna swap it round and show you, and hopefully you can see, if you can see um, a hairbrush anywhere. As soon as you can t say, just tell me where you think the hairbrush is, 
all right? And uh, then I'll go straight there and, uh, and get it, all right? So if you think you can know, just comment where you think the hairbrush is, wherever I've got to go. Remember, you've got to guide me. It's not about my eyes, it's about your eyes, guys. It's all your eyes, all right? Window, yes, where, Will, yes, the window. Uh, well, obviously I could see it. <laughs> right, yes, there's a clue underneath. There's a clue underneath. It's a, it's a uh, riddle. Not a comb or a brush, but makes the hair feel plush. What is it? What is it? Not a comb or a brush, but makes the hair feel plush. What is it? If you know that riddle, answer, give an answer, and then we'll quickly go straight onto the next one. We've got three minutes so far gone. Three minutes gone. Remember, you've got 30 minutes to get through both rooms. This is a bit of a, I don't know, it might be a bit push. First one to comment, come on. Not a comb or a brush, what makes the hair feel plush? What is it? Remember, try and ask the other people around you if you've got anybody working with you. Uh, no, Frankie, we've gone past that. That's the shell. No, keep going. Come on. <laughs> yes, Will, well done. It's shampoo. It's shampoo. Right, okay. So we just got to look around. Where would we keep hair um, shampoo? Everybody's saying hairspray and hair dryer. Where would we keep it? That is not, that's bath stuff. Any idea? Um, we're looking around everywhere. Where would we keep shampoo? Any ideas where we keep shampoo? Come on, guys. Where would we keep the shampoo? Man, this room is well small. <laughs> where would you normally keep shampoo if you're having a wash? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Any ideas where we'd keep the shampoo? Shampoo, yes, Ed, it's shampoo. You froze. Oh no, shucks. Damn it. <laughs> this is connection, connection prompts. Yes, the shower. I'm hoping that this is going to hold, guys. I really hope it's going to hold, right? Yes, it's the shower. The shower. We've got the shampoo over here. We've got the question. There we go. We've got the shower. All right, I'll come back here. There we go. Right then. Uh, dirty numbers. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to ask you some questions, and um, there we are. We're going to ask you some questions, and um, I, I'm uh, as soon as you know the answer, just answer with a number. Okay, they're all numbers. It's called dirty numbers. I'm hoping it doesn't freeze when we do this. All right, uh, five minutes gone. Okay, so here goes. Right, there's the numbers up there. All right, and all we've got to do is put the shower on and just whack them. Right. Okay, so. Um, first one then, uh, how many prime numbers between 80 and 90? How many prime numbers between 80 and 90? Any ideas? Any ideas? Any prime numbers? How many prime numbers between 80 and 90, everybody? 80 and 90. How many prime numbers between 80 and 90? How many numbers between 80 and and 90, all right? So if you know, give a comment. How many prime numbers? Have you got an idea? Three, no, not Wes, it's not three. It's not three. I'm looking at the bottle. <laughs> right, it's not three, you're close. Come on, how many prime numbers, people? Just guess a number, five, no. Come on, it's six minutes gone. Nigel's watching, well done. Nice to see you guys, come on. Uh, four. No, keep going. Keep going. In fact, oh, <laughs> I should help you out really, should I? Right. The numbers are here. Four, three, uh, two or one. Two or one. Any ideas? Have we got any ideas? Have we got any ideas? We've got four. No, we've got, uh, it's a number between one and four. Between one and four. Two, Wes, well done, two. Yes, we have, we've got two. We're going in there, there we go. I'm gonna put the shower on. I'm gonna shower the number. Shower the number off. There we are, we've got it. Yes, two's gone, two's gone. Right, okay, next one, next one. Next one. Um, Oh, Christ. <laughs> How many ships came sailing on Christmas Day? How many ships 
came sailing on Christmas Day. So that question again, how many ships came sailing on Christmas Day? How many? You've got a choice of uh, three, four, and one. Three, four, or one. Which number? Come on, guys, seven minutes gone. Three, four, or one. Three, four, or one? Ooh. One? No, Lee, it's not one. <laughs> it's not one. <laughs> How many ships came sailing? Three, yes, Kath, yes, Will, well done. Yes, it is three. Okay, so I'm just doing it again. <laughs> right, here we go, three. Three is showered off. Three is gone. Three is going. I've got three. So three is done. Oh my God, I'm getting wet. Right, okay. Three is gone. Next question. Next question. Uh, how many sculpted lions, how many sculpted lions by Sir Edwin Landseer sit at the base of Trafalgar Square? So how many lions sit at the base of Trafalgar Square? That's pretty much it, isn't it, really? I've had to shorten that, really. Okay, so how many lions sit at the base of Trafalgar Square? You've also got, obviously, you've got uh, four or one, but I can't proceed until you actually write the number down, all right? So as soon as you know, just put it on there. Everybody should be putting the number down. Come on, right? You've got one, we've got three. No, we've got four or one. It's four or one. <laughs> it's a bit too obvious, really, isn't it? Right, four or one. As soon as somebody comments, then I can move on. No, not John, what are you doing? Four or one? Four or one? <laughs> Four, Will, where you were on this? Right, yes, Nigel, get out of it. Right, okay, so we'll go straight here, back here again. We've got number four. Number four is going. We've got number four. Four is clean. Four is clean. Right then, this should be easy now because there's only one number left, right? One number left. Here we go. The Crazy 88 feature in what film? The Crazy 88 feature in what film? You've got to name the film. Any ideas? The Crazy 88 feature in what film? Nine minutes gone. The Crazy 88 feature in what film? Have you any ideas? <laughs> If you just joined us, we were asking the question, the crazy 88 feature in what film? Okay, so if you know what that film is, then comment down below, all right? Yes, Leanne, it is one, but I kind of need to know the answer before I can go on. What's the answer to that? The crazy 88 feature in what film? Uh, she's dressed in yellow tracksuit and goes round killing everyone. That was a really big hint there, okay? Really big hint. Goes round in yellow tracks. <laughs> you think it's stressing you out? Right, okay. Uh, yes, <laughs> yellow tracksuit, yellow tracksuit. Uh, she's got, she goes round with a sword, with a sword. Right, the crazy 88 feature in what film? What film is that? Come on, Wes, you know this. Right, who else is it? Kill Bill, well done, Paul. Okay, Kill Bill is the one. Right, we're going to go straight into the shower again. Right, we've got it. I've got the top one and it says, behind that it says, uh, let's have a look, let's turn you around. Right, okay, uh, turn the questions over. Turn the questions over, okay. Uh, let's see, turn the question over. Oh my God. Right, I've ripped it open. Okay, so I've got the questions here, I've ripped it open, right. I've got it, uh, so. Oh, it says old fashioned power. What is that? That's obviously a, um, a clue. Old fashioned power. If you know what old fashioned power is, then uh, another word for it. Another word for old fashioned power. Another word for old fashioned power. Do we know what that is? If you know what it is, then comment down below. Good to see so many people on, right? Old fashioned power, right? We're in a shower. That's surely a uh, clue, right? A shower, what does it produce? Steam, well done, Paul English, steam. We'll chuck that away. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I don't even know where we're going now. All right, and uh, as you can see, there's a little train here, right? A little train, um, and I'll pull that off. Okay, I'll just rip the shower, brilliant. Right, put the shower up there. There we go, and 
uh, in order to create steam, uh, we're going to have to put the uh, st the heat up. Okay, so the heat's going right up. I hope this works. Right, there we go. We're just going to put that in there. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm soaking wet. Right, okay. While that's happening, I'm going to open the little train. Okay. Oh. Steam and reflection combined. Let's go over here. Steam and reflection combined. Look straight ahead and you will find. 12 minutes gone, by the way, right? Steam and reflection combined. Look straight ahead and you will find. It's no good showing you that because it's in reverse, all right? So uh, where would we look for steam Steam and reflection combined? Where are we going to find our reflection, guys? Where are we going to find a reflection? Any ideas? A reflection? Around the room, we'll show you around the room, okay? We'll throw it around the room, a reflection. Where are we gonna see a reflection? Just say, comment, as soon as you see something, we can, um, reflection. It's a bit obvious, isn't it, really, right? <laughs> if you know what reflects your image, then just comment. Just make a comment and then I can move on to the next one. We've got 13 minutes gone. 13 minutes and 30 seconds, guys. You've got to get me out of here. I don't want to stay in this place. My aunt's going to come back and find me. Mirror. Well done, Nigel. Mirror. Well done. Okay. So um, we've got it there. But the steam. The steam. There's nothing on this mirror. There's nothing on that mirror. Okay. Ah. I think the steam. <laughs> The steam is going up. Oh my word. I obviously didn't time this, right? <laughs> and I think we can see we can see something slowly in there. Can you see the image? Let's see. Yeah. Uh, it says, what gets wetter? Uh, what gets wetter? I can't quite see all of it. Let's see if we can get all of it. Let's see. I have got a backup plan just in case this reflection doesn't actually come up with steam, all right? Okay, I think it was been a bit ambitious. Ah, there we are, we're seeing it now, we're seeing it. What gets wetter? A towel, well done. I didn't even read the whole thing, the more it dries, well done. Yes, it's a towel. Well done, Paul. Uh, a towel is it. Uh, which towel, green or the checkered? Green or checkered? Green or checkered, guys? Which one? 14 minutes gone. Right, green or checkered, that one or that one? Which one? That or that? Just comment green or checks, green or checks. Which one? Which towel? Which towel? Which towel should I go for? Green, green Paul, well done, green. All right then, we'll lift it up, we'll lift it up. There we are, ah, there we go. Wire to close a circuit, six words. Uh, sorry, six letters. What am I talking about? Wire to close a circuit. Six letters. <laughs> Checkered. <laughs> no, everybody's a bit delayed on this. <laughs> We've got the green towel, guys. We've got the green towel. Wire to close a circuit. Wire to close a circuit. Any ideas? Wire to close a circuit. Right? Which one is it going to be? Hopefully this isn't paused and we're okay. Wire to close a circuit, all right? Wire to close a circuit. It, do you know the answer to that? Then comment down below. Wire to close a circuit. I don't know. Uh, what can it be? What, is that a bit too hard? <laughs> That's a crossword. It's a crossword clue. Six letters. Wire to close a circuit. What is another word for that? I get covered in lots and lots of stuff down here. It's crazy, right? <clears throat> Wire to close the circuit. Any ideas? If you haven't commented, just say anything. Just say anything, right? What do we think? It's very delayed. At, right, okay. Sorry, Catherine. Yes, I'm in a different part of the house, so it's a little bit awkward, right? So, wire to close a circuit. Wire to close a circuit. What do we think? Do we know which one, what it's called? Wire to close a circuit. Uh, you wear it in the wi a socket. No, think outside the box. Um, something like you wear in the winter, with long, with uh, wear in the winter. What would you wear in the winter? Not a t-shirt. You put something over the top of it. That's my clue for you. <laughs> Luck. 
Williamson switch. No, wide closed circuit. Um, it's a type of clothing. A type of clothing. Something like um, something you put on in the winter. What would you put on in the winter to keep you warm? Something to keep you warm? Any ideas? Any ideas of what are we going to wear? What do you wear in the winter to keep you warm on your top half? I don't say scarf. Right. <laughs> a breaker? No. Oh, so funny. No, no, Kath. You're, you, you're getting on the right track, but not quite. Jumper, Nigel. It's a jumper. Well done. Right then, we're going to go into the basket. Oh my God, I just realised the shower's still on. Right, okay. So we're going to go in the basket. Here we go. In the basket, we're looking for a jumper. We're looking for a jumper. We're looking for a jumper. Right. There's a slipper in here. Right, we've got 18 minutes gone. Right, okay. Oh, the jumper. We've got the jumper. Oh. <sighs> you think this is tough? Right, okay. How many answers? Look at this. How many? Oh, I'm going to have to say it. How many answers may be found in clues, some of which are denoted? Right, so there's a clue. The answer is actually in the clue. I'm pretty certain. I'm not sure if that's back to front in there. Right, but how many, how some answers may be found in clues, some of which are denoted. You might want to write this down as you're doing it, right? So how some answers may be found in clues, some of which I'd denoted, right? What does, what's the hidden word in there? <laughs> I've got loads of toilet roll. Uh, no, I haven't got big pants. Um, right, so how many, um, Read the clue, guys. If you've got the clue, it's eight, 19 minutes. Oh, my God. I don't think we would have managed this. <laughs> it's just so bad. OK. How, how some answers may be found in clues, some of which are I'd denoted. The actual answer is hidden in there. All right. It's hidden in there. If you know what it is, then comment. All right. There's one word that we're looking for in there. And I'm going to let you know that it's on the last line. I'm going to let you know that it's on the last line. OK, all you got to do is type the actual word. All right. So as soon as you know the words, it's in that last line. It's hidden in it. What do we think? In fact, I've just given you a massive clue by just saying what I just said. Right. OK, so it's hidden in the last line. Right. It's hidden in the last line. Right. What what do you think it's called? How answers may be found includes some of which I'd denoted, right? Hidden. Well done, Kath. Yes, it's hidden. Well done. Okay, we're on. We're onward. All right. Done. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh God. I need that. <laughs> I don't know. I need this. I need this because you found the key. We found the key. Well done. We're out. We're out the first room. Okay. I'm hoping that this sticks. Right. We got the key. Down the big door, there we go, and it's open. Yes, we're through. Okay, uh, hidden, right, so what's hidden? We're gonna find out what's hidden. I'm hoping this still works, right? Just comment. Uh, what do we think we need to look under for anything? Where do we think anything's hidden? What should I look under? What should I look under? What should I go under? A bed, uh, the floor, what? What do you think? The, f the bed or the floor? Any ideas? What should I look under? That, that. Where should I go? Guys, help me out. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's shaking. Under the bed. Right under the bed. We're going under the bed. There's, there's another bed. No, it's not under the bed. Um, anywhere else? You've got to tell me. Because I can't just go there. All right. Uh, any other items? Anywhere else? I'm giving you a real, real, real big, massive clue here. Right. The bed, the bed, no. Ah, oh, Nigel said the mat, the mat. Let's have a look under the mat. Yes, well done, it's under the mat. Here goes. Oh my God, right. Uh, let's see, hang on a minute. Let's turn this round. Okay. This can be found in your house, but it's not a breakfast tray. It's where clothes and other things can be neatly stored away. Where do we think this is, guys? Right, we've done the rug. We're moving on from that. This can be found in your house, but it's not a breakfast tray. It's where clothes and other things can be neatly stored away. It's a riddle 
Where do we think, guys? Where do we think? Where should we go? What's neatly? What is that? What's the answer to this? Hey, this can be found in your house, but it's not a breakfast. Tr it's where clothes and other things can be neatly stored away. Right. We're going to have a look around the room and show you what we could actually see in here. You can see in a we're going to we've got this behind us. Uh, we've got uh, this drawers. OK, drawers. No, no, it's not opening. The drawers don't work. Uh, airing cupboard. No wardrobe. Cav wardrobe. Let's have a look in the wardrobe. OK, let's open the wardrobe. No, nothing in there. OK, let's open the doors. OK, uh, what, should, which, what should I look at? What should I look at? What should, let's just check the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Minutes. Ah! And I've just messed up the last bit. Rubbish. Right, what should I look at? What should I look at? Oh my god, that took me ages to set. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Right, what should I look at? It's not the jumper. Uh, anything else? Bag. Uh, what should I move? What should I move? Uh, I've no idea. God damn it. <laughs> Aaron has lost it. Yes, I have lost it. <laughs> what should I look at? What should I look at? Any items here? What I've done is I've knocked something for the next piece and I'm a bit annoyed because it was so good. Right. OK, never mind. Work in progress. Right. What should I look at? What should I take? Make it quick. Come on. Faster. I don't know if it's delayed, but um, I'm going to have to help you out. Right. Uh, I'm going to have to look at this. There you go. And this says clabbers. 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 What does that? It's it's. Uh, it's an anagram, I do believe. Is that clabbers? Yeah. What is clabbers? What's clabbers? I'm gonna I'm gonna give you five minutes extra because of the delays, guys. All right. Clabbers. Where are we? We've got clabbers there. What does clabbers? Um, that's an anagram. What's clabbers? <clears throat> clabbers. Uh, no, not close. We've done that part. We've done that bit. Clabbers. Do we know what clabbers is? If you get this, I'm going to have to give you the next one because um, I kind of accidentally knocked it on the floor. It's really bad, isn't it? Right. Clabbers. Clabbers. Any ideas with clabbers? Ladders. No, not ladders. Uh, it's the thing I've knocked on the floor. That thing down there. Down there. Look, it's. Oh, my word. <laughs> right. Clabbers. Oh, dear. Never mind. You can't get it right every time. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ladders. No, no, it isn't. It's an old game in the 80s. Old game in the 80s. Any ideas? Old game in the 80s. Yeah. What do we think? It says clabbers, but um, old game. Scrabble, Damien, you're a beaut. OK, so it is um, Scrabble, but I kind of knocked it. Right. Uh, and I put it all down here and it was so lovely done as well. It was so lovely done. Right. But on this one, it said a word. It said a word and uh, the word was. Oh, my word. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm going to have to give it you because I messed it all up. I know I'm rubbish. Right. It was actually um, Donald Trump um, in an in a, um, anagram. OK, across these two. It was these two yeah, as Donald Trump. So uh, then you would have added up. I was so gutted that worked like that. Right. But the numbers add up. You add all the numbers up and it gives you so many steps. OK, I'm going to tell you now that it was eight steps. OK, so we're going to take eight steps towards this way. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, eight would bring you to uh, a, a toilet brush, a toilet brush and the toilet brush. Get off. Right. The toilet brush has got Donald Trump on it. Donald Trump. And it says um, I'm going to have to read it to you because you can't see that. Right. Solving the riddle of the pictures is key. Which one is fake? OK, so I'm going to go back into here. Right. I'm going to go back in here. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thank you so much. I was so gutted because that took me.
lot of time. Right, okay, so uh, solving the riddle of the pictures is key. Which one is fake, right? So you just have to say which one is fake, right? And I'm gonna turn it around now, right? Uh, there's a balloon, there's a picture of a balloon right here. There's also a picture of a seagull, a seagull right there, right? And <laughs> I knew you'd like that, Will. And a coffee jug over there. Which one is fake? Think about the words, okay? You might wanna write them down. Coffee jug, right? Coffee, seagull, Balloon, all right? Which one is fake? Comment down below. You've got to get one of them, right? Okay. <laughs> right, so, balloon, seagull, or coffee? Which one's fake out of those pictures? Which one is fake? Paul, you're fantastic at this. Yes, it is the seagull, because there is double letters in both of them. Balloon has got two O's, uh, two L's. Uh, coffee has got two F's, two E's, and Seagull's only got one set. So that is it, we're gonna take it off the wall. There we go, we got it, and we got it. The there it is! <laughs> yes, well done! Okay, we're gonna take that, got the key, and we're going out of the room, we're going out of the room in 28 seconds! Oh God, 28, 28 minutes! Oh my God, 28 minutes! I've... That's it, done, we're out! <laughs> yes! Well done, guys. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining in, right? Thank you so much uh, for joining in. I'm going to go move to an area where it's going to be a bit better for you to actually hear me, all right? <clears throat> well done. I'm out. I've got out of the room, right? I've, I've went out of the room over that way, okay? Uh, whew, right. In fact, I'm gonna stand over here. I'm hoping that the signal's okay here. Can you still hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up if that was all good, uh, well and good? And, uh, you know, hopefully you enjoyed it, all right? Um, all I'm gonna say is that, um, yes, escape. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the next one I was trying, to, I might put onto, <laughs> thank you, Will, right? Thank you so much for joining me. More information will be on my Facebook page tonight, okay? There'll be a little uh, bit from me. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. It's gonna be on YouTube, okay, for the third one, and that will be on Monday, all right? That will be on Monday. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Please leave a comment down below, okay? Even if you come off, just leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought, etc. cetera. Um, I'll probably made that a little bit complex today, but Paul, you are the best. So is the rest of you. Thanks for everybody coming back. Kath, there's some new people on there, Tracy and that lot as well, just to see what I'm up to, all right? Um, anything to break up the norm. Um, so please join me every other day. I'll be trying to do as many of these as I can, all right? Oh, I thought the mirror was really good. <laughs> Bye for now. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> um, where do I go? Uh... I, how do I get out? Um, bye.